Welcome, I'm Brian Buck and this is Josh Schaffner, both field agronomists with Pioneer. And today we're going to talk about making fungicide decisions in corn. So uh, Josh and I put together a list of the top five uh, things we look at when making that decision in corn. Uh, none of these are in a particular order, but we're going to talk through each one. Yeah, so number one on the list, Brian, certainly crop rotation is a big deal. When we think of fungicide on corn, we're going to focus on the corn on corn acres first. Historically, that's where we're going to have the most disease pressure. That's where we got the most stress. That's where we're going to look at putting those fungicides to maximize return on investment each year. Second thing we look at is always hybrids. So you think about hybrids, different hybrids are gonna have different strengths. So some may be better or worse on specific diseases. Uh, Josh, some diseases I always like to look at when I'm looking at hybrids is northern corn leaf blight. What's the score on that? Uh, maybe in thracnose uh, and great leaf spot if you are maybe in the southern edge of it. So. Yep. Also disease presence. That's one thing we wanna look at. In a lot of cases prior to tassel, we, we, I like to scout. In a lot of years, we're not gonna see presence of these diseases yet. In some cases, if we're seeing northern corn leaf blight lesions prior to tassel, that's going to be a huge red flag and something I'm going to really target for applications. But we also want to look for the gray leaf spot. Any signs of some anthracnose on the lower leaves or other things could be well worth looking at. Uh, but certainly scouting and disease presence is a big deal. Next on the list is GDUs. So if we look at this year, we're at 919 GDUs already. So that's tracking 181 ahead of normal. Uh, to compare it to last year, we planted at a similar time. Uh, this year and last year we were 50 off the pace. Reason that's important, anytime we tassel early, we're gonna be tasseling in mid-July, we can use fungicides to extend that plant life and extend plant health just to really maximize all the extra sun and the extra calendar we get during grain fill. Yeah, and leading off of GDU's yield potential, a big deal. When you think about fungicides, they're not gonna increase yield, they're out there to protect yield. But we got our biggest yield potential set up, that's where I like to focus those fungicide applications because we have a lot of yield potential, we wanna make sure we, we realize that. In summary, if you look at this list, I would really focus in on three things before you make the decision. Where's my corn on corn? Where's my earliest planted corn where I got the most GDUs? Where's my highest yield potential? You focus on those three things and you'll make that investment profitable. With this Pioneer Agronomy Update, I'm Josh Schaffner. He's Brian Buck. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.